This is the performing songwriter and my name is Ray Naylor. My guest today is Alyssa Garcia. She started playing piano at age five and started playing shows at age 11. In 2015, at the age of 15, Alyssa was a winner in the Philadelphia Songwriters Project Contest. In 2016, she opened for the Crash Test Dummies at the Sellersville Theater. Alyssa Garcia is not only a performing songwriter and recording artist, but she is also a writer of poetry and short stories. I'll be back to talk to Alyssa in a few minutes, but first we're going to hear two of her songs. Uh, Alyssa plays both ukulele and keyboard and probably some other things too. And we're going to hear her play two songs on her ukulele right now. This song is called You Are Loved. Can't climb up deep in your love 
and I can't get enough deep in my heart I can't set you free deep in my mind and it's killing me stuck in paradise fantasies and flashing lights and you take my hand hold me tight for once in my life you are finally mine moving scenes are bright and in the end you make it all right and we ride off in the sunset then I'll wake up cause it's all in my It's all in my head You take your time Tearing apart my life All of those wasted nights I spent on you In reality You'd sit there and watch me but I won't accept the fact you never loved me It's all in my head I'm deep in a well That I can't climb up Deep in your love And I can't get enough Deep in my heart I can't set you free Deep in my mind I'm stuck in paradise Fantasies in It's all in my head Ooh. Alyssa Hi How are you? Good, how are you? I'm very good. You're quite a songwriter. Yes. <laughs> um, now, as I mentioned in the introduction, you started playing piano at age five, and you started performing what, at age 11. 11, yes. When did you start writing songs? Um, around the same time, uh, age 11. Um, I sort of kept journals before that uh -huh. and uh, ended up putting music to that and just combining two worlds of what I was really passionate about. So. Did you start uh, performing your original songs uh, pretty much as when you started writing them, or was it a little um, bit later? A tiny bit later. There was a little bit of a gap. Um, first, I started learning cover songs from YouTube and stuff like that. Uh -huh. And then um, I, took a, I took a leap of faith and uh, played an original at a uh, coffee house. And uh, yeah, it, it had a good response. And of course, I played it for my parents first just to <laughs> see if <laughs> it was any good. But um, yeah. Now, I think I was reading on your bio that your songs are sort of your journals with music attached? Yes. It, it, just talk about that, your songwriting process a little bit. Um, my songwriting process is very random. Um, usually uh, I'll experience an event or some kind of feeling and I'll end up um, writing about it in my journal. Um, it'll either be spontaneous, I'll, I'll think, hey, this would be a good song, um, or I'll just have 
a journal passage that I'll, I'll just look over one day and just think, hey, I could put music to this. So um, usually the words come first, the, uh, the emotion, the feeling comes first, and then I add in the music. Um, so yeah, that's how I kind of write songs. Okay. And I uh, also mentioned that you opened for Crash Test, Test Dummies, Dummies, which yes. is cool. You also opened at the same place, Selvageville Theater, mm -hmm. for Sawyer Fredericks, who was the winner of season eight of uh, The, the Voice. Voice. And I watched uh, some of your performance there, and I was impressed with your poise and your uh, stage you. presence. And, and um, do you get nervous anymore when you go in front of audiences? Definitely, do definitely you? I get nervous. Um, it's not really nervous that I'm, like some kind of nerve that I'm gonna make a mistake or anything. It's kind of like, will I be able to uh, leave an impression on my audience? Mm -hmm. So yeah, I do get nervous. <laughs> Um, uh, now you also won uh, in 2015 15. uh, the Philadelphia Songwriters, uh, not, yeah, Philadelphia right. Songwriters <laughs> Project Contest, and mm -hmm. you were actually a finalist this past year, this year. Is that uh, right? No, um, I was a finalist in 2015. I, I won. You, and you won in 2015. Yes. Yes. Okay, um, and, but you've also won some other uh, songwriting awards, uh, correct? Yes. What, what are some of those? Um, from the same organization, Philadelphia Songwriters Project, I won as a young songwriter uh -huh. in uh, 2013, uh -huh. I believe, um, with my song uh, Don't Hate On Me, which is one of my first originals. And um, before that, with the same song Don't Hate On Me, I won um, Music Training Center's uh, songwriting contest, which is where um, I took piano lessons for a very long time. So that was my first start in contests and stuff like that for songwriting. Okay. Now you have some music that's going to be in a movie that's going to be coming out. I do. Which is very cool, and it's called Getting Grace. Yes. And I watched some of that, and I can tell it's going to be a tearjerker of a oh, movie. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I was feeling that way watching the, watching the uh, what do we call the... Uh, trailer, the yeah. Trailer. Yeah. So, um, ha you know, we had a, a couple times ago, we had a show which included an interview I did with a guy named... Uh, Louis Vasseur, who's from mm -hmm. Chicago, and you, when you, I did it through uh, Skype, and he oh, cool. part of what he does is song licensing. Mm -hmm. So I know it's not an easy thing to do. So were you at the right place at the right time? Uh, definitely. <laughs> so the story with that, um, I was playing a gig in Allentown um, for a summer concert series, and um, it was actually near my dad's work, mm -hmm. and one of his co-workers happened to mention, oh, this movie is being filmed locally, and they're looking for local talent to submit music. So. I submitted music. Um, a couple months later, I get a call. We want to use two of your songs. So um, the director of the movie, Daniel Roebuck, is such a good man. Um, he has such a good heart. And um, my music being in that movie is means so much. It's just cool to say that out loud. Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> my music's in a movie. but um, yeah. So I can't wait till it comes out. I can't wait either. <laughs> um, we're going to listen to two more of your songs. This time, Sounds you're good. playing keyboards. And uh, while well, we're setting up your keyboard and stuff. I'm going to play part of a video of our next guest, whose name is Joe Jenks, who is from oh. Chicago, and he's just oh. going to come through. He's uh, come through the. He's coming through the area, oh. and um, he has been performing for 18 years. He's. Wow. He, I don't know how many miles he's driven across <laughs> the country, but it's been a lot. He has quite a number of CDs. He's uh, was co-founder of a trio called Brother Son. I'm not sure if you're familiar with that group. I am not, but I it's will It's a up. Greg Greenway and, um, oh, geez, I know the other guy really well, but I'm totally blanking on his name. <laughs> Sorry. Anyway, Brother Son, and, and Joe's part of that trio as well as performing solo. He's an excellent, excellent performer and, and songwriter. And this particular song is from his new CD called Poets, Philosopher, Workers, and Wanderers. And this particular song is, uh, well, this particular video is one of his songs called All I Want is a Garden. And it's actually Brother Son doing, doing this song that he wrote and he, he does the main vocals on it. So we're, we'll watch the song again. It's called All I Want in a Garden by Joe Jenks and Brother Son. And we'll be back with Alyssa doing to more of her songs. My 
My father was a soldier He went off to the war Whatever childhood dreams he had They were gone forevermore The soulless and the meaning That he found within his life Were his faith, his home, his family And his one true love and wife All I want is a garden To make the flowers grow All I want is you beside me In the gentle evening glow All I want is a peaceful place Where I can lay my head And when the weary night embraces To lay beside you in our bed I'm a road musician And I wouldn't trade a day I've spent running down my dreams And making friends along the way But now and then I get to thinking Daddy had it right You just give everything you have to love And hold on to the light all I want is a garden to make the flowers grow. All I want is you beside me in the gentle evening glow. The sun, the moon, the stars, a life for world apart. to change will I remain the same or will I start to fall like they do will there be me and you can you feel the breeze when money falls from trees
This song is called Better Life. Stay. 
So uh, th those are some of the shows that are coming up in the next, uh, I would say, two months. So uh, hope to see you then. Um, you've been doing some using your music to benefit an organization, which is called the National Organization for Rare Diseases. Um, can you talk a little bit about that? Yes, there was just a um, event uh, for the. It's actually the National Organization of Vascular Anomalies specifically. Oh, okay. And um, so I opened for um, a contestant on American Idol in season five, I believe. Mm -hmm. Might be eight, five or eight. Um, but he was. Uh, he's named Bucky Covington, and he's a country artist. And um, I had the pleasure of opening for him. I um, played a couple songs. I got to sing the national anthem live for the first time. I've never done that before, so that was really cool. Wow. And uh, you have, uh, right now you have two CDs, and this is an EP, right? Yes. And this is, uh, was this a studio? Yes, okay. studio produced in uh, Spring City at a place called Chaplin's. Okay, and it's called Looking Glass. And you're also working on a new album, correct? Yes, um, it's pretty much the full version of this. Uh -huh. um, I've written a couple more songs, and uh, we're going to add that to whatever's on the EP. And it's being recorded at the same place, okay. uh, Spring City Chaplains, um, by a man named Chris Cachuela, who I've been working with for a while. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, it's going great. We're recording almost every week, and it's um, it's it's new for me because I'm really finding myself through my music and um, in the way I record. It's much different than just writing it in your bedroom. Mm -hmm. There's all the instrumentation, and all that. Right. So, right. Yeah. Now you have a video of, the, of you recording there, correct? Yes, yes I do. And that's the song you did here? Sincerely today. Me, yep. Yeah, yeah. So that's a really good video. In fact, that, uh, for people to also take a look at. You know. Yes, definitely. Um, you, uh, you mentioned uh, about the movie and the fact people saw you play. Was that Music Fest? Um, or was that something else up in Bethlehem? Or, oh, you said Allentown. Allentown, yes. But you played at Music yes. Fest, and you're playing this year, too. I am, yes, with a band. Um, the band for the studio album will be there playing with me. Um, actually, about the movie, uh, it shows several shots of um, Steel Sacks where I'll be performing Bethlehem uh -huh. Steel Sacks, so, yeah. Now, this is about the third year you've been playing there? Yes, yes. Okay. Um, I wanted to ask you, <clears throat> you've just been voted, um, I guess voted, Vice President of the National Honor Society. I was, yes. So you have lots of talents. So my question <laughs> is, and I'm not sure if this is fair to ask a 17-year-old, <laughs> almost 18 though. Almost 18. <laughs> um, what are some of your goals for your music or your life or whatever at this point? Um, so I'm looking at colleges now. So I'd like to go into music business and audio engineering to mm -hmm. sort of uh, know the business and know how to record myself and uh, record other artists as well. Uh -huh. um, I'd like to make a career out of singer-songwriting or s being a singer-songwriter and uh, performing and use that, uh, just be an artist. And um, I really want to be able to understand pretty much the whole scope of things so that uh, I'm readily prepared and yeah. Well that's good because it's a, it's a, a difficult business. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and the more you can know, the better it is. Now, if people want to see where you're going to be playing, uh, want to get your recordings, how, yes. what's the best way to do that? Uh, my website, it's alyssagarcia.com, two Gs. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, uh, my music's on there, my videos, uh, a little bit about me. Um, all my, I have a couple journals down there, too. And, uh, yeah, that's the best place to find everything. Okay. Alyssa Garcia, thank you very yes, much thank for you coming so on much. and singing your great songs. Thank you for having me. And we'll be back actually probably within a week or so because Joe uh, Jenks or is actually coming in uh, early next week. Uh, so we will see you hopefully then.
the world. 